that was the, the thing that, you know, he woke up one day and decided, you know, why, why are humans, you know, dying at 80 instead of 100? You know, what was the kind of reasoning process behind that? Well, I'd love to say I was a rational person, but I did literally wake up one day and decide that I really didn't want to die. So that, that was early stage me. Uh, later stage me, you know, I'm a little more copacetic about these, about the realities of the world. Um, you don't have to like them, but you get used to them. But I'm still interested in trying to make a dent in this problem before I can't do things to make a dent in it anymore. I think, I think for me, it was, it was when I, I realized when I woke up in the morning and I didn't feel as vibrant and as powerful as I wanted to be. So, you know, the aches and pains, and I realized that, you know what, when you, that the aging process has started, I, I want to make sure that I age as slowly as possible. And if we could extend our, our, our wellness beyond, you know, what we, what we can right now, I'm all up for it. And of course, I should also add that I was not really focused in this on aging. I knew that this was a, this was a problem, but really uh, speaking to reason, you know, the, the, the writer and the, the founder of Fight Aging, of course, it, it's contagious. Uh, his enthusiasm and his, his dedication to the field is, is contagious. So I, uh, I should say that he, he directed me into this as well.